Hey guys, so today you and I are, are going to talk about picking your stack. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a small novel, so I'm going to have to paraphrase it a little bit here. Hi Frederick, I got your email from a rocket reach search. Hope you don't mind me messaging you like this out of the blue. No, I don't, I, I, but I, I do make it hard, well hard is a strong word, I make it difficult for you to reach out because I have so many so many groupies and stalkers who want to get at me that I can't, I, you know, I have to protect myself somehow but you figured me out, you found my email, hmm. don't tell anybody how I've been watching your channel for a while, I have some doubts regarding choosing a pathway for personal projects I graduated last July and got a job as a Java developer. Although the job is fine, it's not quite so fulfilling. Recently I've had an opportunity to work with my cousin who works in a fan company on a Node.js project. I'm quite confused. If I should follow the Node path wholeheartedly as I think I will be able to manage the company's work in Java for a while before switching the com from this company or going into a different department. I have choose, chosen backend development as my preferred path and I want to continue following on this track. You, <laughs> meanwhile, because of this opportunity, I'm thinking of going to Node as, a, uh, Node as I think I would learn much more from backend development working with a live project as compared to my own. The company's work is quite dull, I would say. It's a huge company. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm not getting, but I'm not getting the right Java exposure. And yeah, I can't really read the rest of this. I, I'm gonna have to skim through this because I can't really understand the rest of it. Uh, what uh, I have basic knowledge of Node and TypeScript and f uh, and for Java I know a couple of libraries more than that of Node. Nothing great. In six months I'll be applying for a different job. Choosing any technology right now is is of high priority for me. What would be your suggestion? <laughs> well, from what I can derive from what you're saying here is pretty much like a, like a few key points to take away here before we jump in. Uh, you are working in a large company, the work is unfulfilling and dull, you're working in Java and you're not, in your opinion, getting the right exposure towards the language. You have an opportunity now to start working in Node. I also see that you're mentioning that you could study Golang because one of your dream positions would be to work at something like Apple because if I read this correctly they have a job post, a specific one job posting basically that references Golang. So what I wrote back to the subscriber was that I think that you are right now making the right moves because the long and short of it is that although working for a gigantic corporation may not be the funnest thing in the world, it's a very good first step for you because what it will give you is exposure to the bare bone basics of what it means to work in an IT company. There are many flavors of IT companies, but something you should know is that even if you work, it doesn't really matter if you work in a small startup with like two people, if you work in Google, it that it, the, there are things that will overlap in both environments. There are many things that will be different, but some of the stuff is going to be the same. And ideally, working in a company where things are going so slow that you find them boring, is actually you have no idea what luxury that is to you, because it gives you years on your CV, and it gives you the time to get bored. And if you're getting time to get bored at the company, that's uh, in the beginning of things, as long as you're only doing it for a little while, a very good thing. So what I say, why, the reason why I told this person that I think that you're making the right move is because if you start out with the big boring company type of job, then you get some experience on your CV. And then the next thing that is a very good investment, which is the thing that you are right now identifying, is that you want to expand your knowledge and not get complacent. And you talk about that you have an interest in this other section of the of the message you say that 
well, working with Nginx and load balance and reverse proxies and you're intrigued by all things backend, right? Well, here I will tell you something that you may not know if you haven't been working for a while. The language that you pick, so you're mentioning you Node.js as an example, is actually of less importance when you're looking to expand your expertise as a professional. What is most important is the role and the company that you work in. That is the most important thing. Why do I say this? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because, as you were saying, if I were to, say, because this is standard practice, this is like the most standard advice that you can possibly imagine. When somebody asks, what language should I pick in order to be, get hired as a software developer and get a cozy, nice job that pays all the bills and gets me a house? 99% of the people out there who have any knowledge whatsoever of IT will say something like Java. The reason is very simple, because practically every single uh, country on the planet has companies who uses Java at very large scale. But what about this situation? What about this uh, where you actually realize that, well, you're not really getting the education that you need? And then the question is, is it really about the language in this scenario? No, because you're using Java, but you're not learning how to be a prop, uh, how to be a real software developer. And that comes with being in the right role at the right company, my friend. And it doesn't matter which language you pick. It matters. Uh, the, the only thing that matters is what are you doing in that company? So if you are working in Java in this company that doesn't actually give you any real responsibility or any type of personal development, well, you can go with Java in the next company as long as that company actually uh, puts more responsibility on the developers so that you get to do more stuff. So you are in charge of stuff. I mean, if you have a company that does something like, say, DevOps, that's a very good thing if you want to be a backend developer because it's going to expose you to so many responsibilities. There's going to be a lot of stuff to learn. So it might not be the perfect thing to start off with if you're a complete beginner. But when you get to a little bit of seniority, like just a, f just a little bit, you will start to very quickly realize that, yeah, yes, the coding thing is kind of easier, but now I want to do the next thing. And that's when you sh should transition into a role that you get to, and where you get to do more stuff. Because the more stuff you get exposed to, the broader you will be, and the more expertise you will actually develop. So I can't tell you that you should go with, say, Node.js, and I can't tell you that you should pick Goline, because it's not about the language. You can pick up any language. The thing that you are re should be really focusing on is to find a, a, a position or a role somewhere Regard, I mean, pick whatever language you really want. If Node.js is the thing that might get you into a fan company, you want to work for a fan company, go for it. But since you're mentioning Golang and you think that you're going to, I mean, you, this is just a job application to Apple. And trust me when I say this, the Apple does, uh, they, you know, they're they not going to cry blood if uh, you don't apply. There are quite, quite, quite a lot of people who are going to go in uh, and try to get into that company. But if you really want to go for it, then try it out. That does. It's it's you know it's up to you to bet on a piece of technology. All I can say is that what you really want to figure out is what stack or what language or what company or what thing can I get on my CV that gets me into the door at companies, regardless of if it's a fan company or whatever company it is, where you will get the best education, the best personal development. That is the main thing for you. And I promise you, languages will be complete. Like at some point, you're going to get to a point of expertise where like the language does mean literally nothing to you. After a few years, when you get to be a real senior, if you really have done uh, some, like if you've done the homework and you're actually fairly developed as a, uh, into, if you've developed into a very good senior, like the language you don't even register the language anymore it's just okay this is another job okay why well, right. here we're using python or here we're using php or here it's java oh it's c sharp like, it does not matter because like the language itself is usually it, it's so similar guys it, it doesn't take long for a, a really good senior software developer to figure out how a language works what it does, what does take long that you basically can't substitute for anything else is work experience within the right roles, with the right levels of responsibility. That is something that is worth gold to practically everybody. So what I want you to take away from this is that 
it doesn't really matter. You don't focus so much on what language you're picking. If you want to, if you think that you have a lead on a really good position at a fine company, then go and do Node in this scenario. Or if it's Go and you want to get anything to Apple, I promise you that Apple hire more than Go developers, then do that. Or if there's even more options, go for that. Because the thing that really matters is that you get into a role at a company where they put more responsibilities in your hands because as you've, reminded, as you've seen yourself you know Java which is one of the best languages out there in order to get a position at some type of company but you're not actually getting quality education think about getting learning Node and the same thing happening in the whatever fan company you go into or oh, what about Go what if you go into Apple and you realize that shit yeah they're using Go but I don't I really only get to sit there and read I don't know code reviews for some other senior so that's what I'm telling you don't focus on the language focus on the stuff that you do the daily grind what is that about because if you're working in something like as a uh, DevOps culture where your team is responsible for all these different things and you actually get to do a lot of stuff. That's the stuff that really matters. That's the stuff that's going to make you into a hardened veteran professional. Have a great day.